Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I had gotten today in the mail my English Hall box, and um, I haven't seen anybody put one out yet. So I'm like thinking maybe I'll be the only one of the few who are able to put one out today. I'm sure everybody else got theirs. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but you know, you know how things happen. I've been really busy. Been involved in a big project at work, and also I did. Ha I had. Um, recorded a bunch of videos and unfortunately I got lazy and uh, recorded them on my GoPro and I didn't back them up to my uh, laptop like I usually do after each uh, recording session. Recorded a bunch of videos for one thing which actually happened to be for the first um, Monster Bass box and then and I actually opened it up out in the field I was like opened it up fishing right out of it, catching bass, um, recorded some other stuff. Uh, what was the next video I did? I don't remember. There's a, I, I had recorded enough for about five videos and filled up my SD card and next thing I go out, hook it up to my laptop and it's corrupted. You know, <laughs> what are you going to do? And I work in IT, I try to do uh, data recovery on it. And this is the first time I haven't been able to recover any data off of an SD card or hard drive for that matter. So I was really bummed about that. I was actually really depressed because I had some really great footage. And so that just goes to show you, you know, um, you know, don't get lazy with that kind of stuff. Um, do like I was doing um, with my videos before where I was downloading them right away to the laptop, editing them, and then um, uploading up to YouTube and scheduling them to um, you know, be published and that way you know you have something that you can work with there as opposed to losing everything you know all the eggs in one basket basically so that's basically why you know I don't have have well that's basically why I haven't had anything in the past couple two three months maybe I think it is um, I could have done, done some other videos, but like I said, I was kind of upset about that and frustrated with it. And myself, really, because I should know better. I, I've always been a big proponent on telling people to back their stuff up to multiple um, devices or whatnot to the cloud if you need to. And then, you know, just make sure that you have um, your backups of your files so you're not heartbroken or upset or disgusted with yourself or whatever. You know, but so we'll get past that and we'll move on. Um, and I'm starting with this box here. So, you know, some of you may know that, um, you know, subscription boxes out there. I've gotten um, a bunch of different ones. I started with the Lucky Tackle box, I think it was the first one I ordered back in, I think, February. And then um, I did a Mystery Tackle box after that, yeah. So, Lucky Tackle box, Mystery Tackle box. Then I did Outsider Tackle box. Uh, did actually did that twice, and all these tackle, all these mystery tackle boxes and lucky tackle boxes and outsider and all that, all these subscription boxes, um, you know, when you do it for the first time, basically um, you can get a really big discount the first time um, you get a box. So um, for the, I think the outsider tackle box, I believe. You know, I, I I'm not gonna quote any numbers. I, let's just say I, I probably paid at least half, if not less than that, of what the original box was. And, um, you know, same thing with Lucky Taco Box and Mystery Taco Box. Uh, I paid a lot less than what they normally cost. I got the Elite Box for Mystery Taco, for Mystery Taco Box, I got the Elite Box. Um, for Lucky Taco Box, I got um, whatever the, the highest one was. I forget what they call theirs. Um, and then, uh, I don't know if there was a higher level for the uh, Outsider Tackle Box, but uh, you know I haven't done any videos on any of those. I was doing the one on the, the Monster Tackle Box, so I was kind of excited. You know that was like the first one that they ever put out, and you know went and lost all the video for it. And some really cool bass. I caught like a two and a half pounder. That was really sweet. Um, not my biggest, but still, it was it was nice. But anyways, I wanted to open up this. Uh, Angler's Hall and just see I'm not really expecting too much from this so I just wanted to see what um, 
what they had. So let me slice this open. Cool. And see what they got in here. So again, this is the um, the pro box, by the way, for the anger hall. And hope you don't mind. I'm sitting in my vehicle. I just dropped my boys off. Um, they have a scout meeting, and it's been crying. It's been kind of crazy around my house lately, so I haven't been able to do much there. All right, so I'm opening it up, and that's kind of what it looks like when I open it up here. Here's a card on top here. Let's see what this says. So it says July 2019 Pro Box. All right, let's hold this up so you can see a little bit better. And then the first item it has here is Gills Waterman shirt or replacement shirt. So, you know, it looks like they were aiming for the Gill Waterman shirt, but if they ran out, they were going to have something else. And the retail price on that is $39.99. So, let's see what this shirt looks like. It's gray. Okay. And it has a tags there and everything. Let's open this baby up. Let's see what we got. You know, I, actually, I think I just saw Macy's is doing a sale on these. I think it's the same one. Yeah. This is the same. Macy's. Hey, hey, y'all. If these cost forty bucks, yeah, it says forty dollars is the retail price. So I haven't obviously checked this out yet, but. This is a. I saw this color, and I think um, they had Macy's. They have um, here. In, I was just at the uh, Florida Mall Macy's earlier, the one by Florida Mall, and they had this same exact shirt. It's kind of nice. I was looking at it because they have it for twenty five dollars. I, I think that's freaking awesome. Um, Forty bucks is is still I think a good price because this has got the. Um, what did it say on this tag here? I just saw the cool core technology so it's supposed to keep you cooler you know I was reading about it on the, the one that I was looking at at Macy's yeah cool core fabric 30% cooler than com competition dries 30% faster UPF 50 blocks 98% of sun rays so I mean I'm gonna be uh, wearing this I'm going down to the keys um, towards the end of this month we got a um, a high adventure sailing trip um, on board a 40 foot sailboat. Uh, me and my two boys are going on that trip for a week. And plus it's uh, lobster season, so I'm looking forward to that. But I'll be wearing this and we'll try it out and we'll see see how this thing works. It's long sleeve, so you get some good protection there. But I can't believe this is the same one I just saw, 25 bucks. So I might have to go back there, because I was looking at it and I'm like thinking, that, that looks kind of nice, but I actually, I was liking the, the blue. It had a blue colored shirt. So, all right, well, that's awesome. I can always use an extra shirt. All right, what we got next here? Um, next on the list is a Yozuri 3DB weight bait, bluegill pattern. Okay, bluegill, I like bluegill. And I can use a weight bait. So, um, this is the color bluegill. Well, you got a little bit of reflection going on there from the light. Wake bait. I don't know. I'll put this up to the camera and see if uh, you can see. This is basically a, a surface, um, a top, top water lure. It says it dives zero to 15 centimeters or half a foot. So that's pretty cool. It's got a nice pattern to it. Bluegill. We got lots of bluegill down here in the lakeside swim, um, not swim, uh, the, the lakeside fishing. So they have a price of $9.99 for that bait. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I'll, I'll definitely try that one out. All right. So next on the list for the July Pro Box is Missile Baits Ned Bomb and Bammer Craw. Oh, I like that color. So that's what this looks like. Missile Baits. I hate that I keep looking over here, but I mean to look at the camera. Sorry about that. I hate when people do that myself. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Ooh. It's 
got a scent to it, but I'm not sure if it's just a plastic. I don't think this is a... I don't think they have an actual scent for it. I think that's just the way the plastic smells. But So, these are great. I'm going to put... I got um, some Ned rig jigs that I got from Your Next Cast from Titus. And then I think I got in one of the boxes, I think maybe that Monster Bass box that I had cracked open and caught some bass with. I think, um, I wonder if I have that on one of these poles, a Ned rig already. Let's see. Um, I had on one, I think it was on this bank caster right here. Um, I must have taken it off. I think uh, yeah, I had a backlash on there, so I took it off. But I had the, the Ned rig and um, I think it was a Z, uh, Z Man Elastec Ned bait. But anyways, these look cool. It's got the Bama crawl. So, got good action on that tail. I'll be uh, looking forward to trying these things out. I haven't had missile baits yet. So. Looking forward to trying these out. What we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, that's I like when you get, you know, full amounts of lures and baits. That's one thing I had a problem with and I hadn't really talked about it, but with the, the outsider tackle box and somewhat with lucky tackle box, you get packs of like soft baits and you get like one or two or three or whatever and you know, it's like a sample size. I don't like that. That's why I stopped doing those. Although, I will say that I have, um, right now I have an outsider tackle box that I got as a, a referral from Camel Korean from last month that I, I need to do an opening because uh, um, in that box you got these, I, I forget what brand it is, these um, um, glasses, sunglasses, polarized that supposedly float if you drop them in the water so anyways I, I need to do a review on that one because I was going to give the sunglasses to my son all right so next after the uh, missile baits Ned bomb bammer crawl oh and those uh, the price on those were $3.99 so four bucks next on the list is lure lock small box with tack logic I've seen this before tack logic that's they have a, a pad on the bottom of the tackle box that's got a sticky. So when you put your hooks or lures in there, you put your lures or baits or whatever inside the box it, in the bottom, um, it sticks and it doesn't move. I don't know if I have a lure handy, but let's see if I have some handy. Oh, shoot, I got this one. Let's get this one out. How do you open this box? You don't make it easy. What the heck? Open. It says me. What the heck, man? Oh, staple. Okay. Let's see if I can get this out without impaling my fingers. Alright, so I'm pulling this. Pulling this out. Oh, it's got the hook caught on the cardboard here. Okay, so. Alright, here's a close up. That's pretty cool. I like that color. Alright, so and then um, this is a little small box. Just um, put a couple lures or whatever. But anyways, so I'm going to lay this on here. And just set it like that. And then so when you put it in there, it sticks. So it's not coming out. So they say... Oh, it's sticky. Um, so they, they say, I believe, um, I saw a video on this, um, probably, I don't know, wasn't too long ago. Um, you put your hooks or baits or whatever in here and it keeps it from, you know, knocking around and getting the, the hooks dull or whatever. And, um, supposedly, I, I guess with this, um, you can just rinse this out with, uh, soap, soapy water and it, you can get the dirt out and they'll kind of get back to the clean and you can still use a sticky that stuff is sticky that's very tacky I guess that's why they call it tackle box lure lock with uh what was that tackle tackle logic technology so that's pretty cool that's the rain coming out I'm telling you that stuff's sticky 
So anyways, uh, what was the price on that? That was $13.99 for a grand total of $67.96. I think I, I paid like 30, I think it was 30, um, six or seven dollars because I they gave you like a I don't know if it was 10% off or 15 or I forget what it was but it was like 36 or seven dollars I paid for this um, and normally I believe it's forty four dollars forty three ninety nine or something like that I think is what they normally charge for the the pro box so anyways let me I'm gonna leave that in there for now close this up put it back in the box here and uh, I just want to show you guys real quick. I'm, uh, you know, you, you can. I'm sure you saw the the list before, but they have an advanced box um, that's um, above this that I think they charge like a hundred dollars for somewhere around there. I don't remember exactly. I'm like, I'm not paying a hundred bucks for a box because I don't know what's going to come in it. Um, and I'll wait to see, you know, what everybody else gets. But. Uh, the advanced box says that it comes with a 1-3 Fishing Creed Fate Black Super Tune Spinning Reel. A $64.99 uh, value. Retail value, I believe, is what what it goes for. So that's, man, that would have been pretty cool. 65 bucks for a 1-3 Fishing Creed Fate Black Super Tune Spinning Reel. I can always use another spinning reel. Um, Groove Fishing Big Jig Box. For twenty nine nine nine, I'm not really familiar with the with that. And then another one three fishing item, a one three fishing logo cap for nineteen ninety nine, for an advanced value of one eighty two ninety three. So you pay a hundred bucks and you get a value of one hundred eighty two, almost one hundred eighty three dollars. So that seems pretty pretty good. Um, I'd have to. I'm going to look up that that one three fishing reel. I'll look at the reviews on that. But, uh, anyways, yeah, this shirt, I'm going to try this out in a couple weeks when I'm down in the Keys. See if it keeps me cooler because it's going to be hot and humid down there, I'm sure. I mean, I took my son to, uh, he had played in an invitational baseball tournament in Sarasota this weekend. Man, I was melting out there. It was hot. But anyways, alright, so that's it like guys um i hope you enjoyed this video sorry it took so long to do another one i'm going to try to do a couple more real quick um, get something that i can schedule to be uploaded for you guys and uh try to keep up with them it's just you know it's hard uh, i don't know how some of you guys do it you know cranking out you know multiple <laughs> videos in a day you guys are maniacs but uh but it's cool because there's tons of great content out there and i'm just trying to keep up with y'all hopefully i can put up some good content something that's interesting and informative and something that you know kind of motivates you to want to get outside and uh you know be part of the outdoors so anyways take care talk to you later bye